Hey guys, I just woke up. My name is Lauren and I forgot a coffee shop. It's called Second Wind. It's a non-profit coffee shop. It's been open since 2008 and it's ran all by student volunteers. So it's pretty unique and I wanted to show you guys what it's like to open up a coffee shop for early in the morning. So I'm gonna get ready and then let's go. Alright guys, I just got to the shop. It's the bright blue building over here with the windmill. And then over here we have the community garden which has a bunch of flowers, some lavender, um, some jalapenos, basil, cilantro, some rosemary. So like I had mentioned before, one of the things that I think makes Second Wind so unique is that um, since you don't have any workers and they're all, all volunteers, everyone's usually really happy to be here and excited and it's something that they choose to do to spend their time. And on top of that, we have suggested donations right there. So I think you can see them. So we don't actually have any set prices. And so that's so that way people that can't afford a cup of coffee or can't afford to go to Starbucks every day can still go get like really good coffee at an affordable price and somewhere that feels really homey. So the first thing that I like to do every morning whenever I come in, because it's a coffee shop and I want to smell like coffee, so I always brew a hot batch of coffee. It's usually not the first thing that people get when they come in, but it does make it smell really nice in here. And I'll show you guys how we do it and how a lot of, and how a lot of coffee shops do it, because there actually is a right way to brew it. So I'll show you. So we're gonna brew a full batch, which is 120 grams of coffee beans. Alright, so now that I have the coffee brewing, I'm going to go ahead and set up the espresso machine, get our cold brew ready, restock, and do all that other boring stuff. But I'm still going to show you guys some like cool coffee facts and like different things you can do at home to make your coffee taste good. So, I'm like a one, maybe two trip kind of person, so we're going to get all this at one time. So espresso machines actually have to be put together and taken apart every day, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So there's a term for espresso called dialing in. That's when you make sure that um, the shot is pulled just right. Um, every shot of espresso is with 18 grams of coffee or of espresso grounds. We pulled double shots already. So it's a little bit different from Starbucks. So if you come into Second Wind and you get a latte or you order a latte, it automatically comes with two shots of espresso because we pulled double shots. If you go to Starbucks, you have to ask for each individual espresso shot. Um, because they're Starbucks. Most um, nice, finer coffee shops or specialty coffee shops, if you want to be bougie about it, then um, they always pull double shots. So I'm about to pull an espresso shot, but before I did, I figured I would explain some of the differences between brewed coffee, espresso coffee, and cold brew. So caffeine is in all of those drinks, but the way that they are, are, are extracted and the amount of caffeine is different depending on like what you get. So for example, Everyone loves a good cold brew, right? But cold brew actually has more caffeine than hot coffee because how it is is that hot coffee gets its caffeine and its flavor 
from heat and cold brew gets its caffeine and flavor from time. So cold brew has more time. It's usually extracted over about an 18 hour period. So you'll let like the uh, beans uh, steep in the cold water for 18 hours and by the time it's done, it's had so much more time to collect up that flavor, which is why um, it tastes so strong too. So, but espresso and brewed coffee are hot and they, so you're just really getting the flavor out of it. You get a little bit of caffeine, but the time is really what helps get that flavor out. So this is our cold brew. We actually use Prelude and they're really good. Smooth, bold, we'd love to see it. Honestly, we all saw that. This one pulled so pretty. I'm pretty sure it'll taste good. That's pretty good. So we know it's ideal when it coats my entire tongue. There's like a really smooth finish. And I don't hate drinking it again. So I usually hate espresso, so it's good. One more thing about Second Wind, and I better hurry because we still need to open, but like all of our artwork on the walls is actually from students right here at OU and they get to keep 100% of the profits from whatever they make and whatever they sell. So people can come in and get really unique artwork that's also from their peers that are the same age as them that are really talented and then I think it's really cool. A lot of our artwork isn't super expensive. We have a couple really nice pieces that are super cool and you can just tell that they spend a lot of time on. This is one of them. It's one of my favorites in the shop. But that one's like $275, so kind of expensive. But these other ones, like this one, let me see. Oh, I like all of these and these are all $25. That one's super cool or that one. And you get to keep the frame. That's a pretty good deal. So second one has a ton of teas. The pink tea is gonna be our herbal tea, the green is gonna be our green tea, and this kind of like gray color is gonna be our black tea. So herbal tea is never caffeinated, green tea and black tea is usually always has a high amount of caffeine. And we have these like little directions on top to make it easy for our volunteers and people to order. And then just behind the counter, we have our little tea set up with our espresso and our drip coffee and our cleaner. And then whenever someone wants tea, we have an electric kettle, so we're able to just kind of turn it on, set the water, and it'll heat up on its own. So now that we've set up the espresso machine, brewed the drip coffee, we know that we have our tea set up and we've kind of restocked everything. Um, the tables are clean. So now the only thing that's left to do is like set the vibes. So every barista that's on shift gets to like pick whatever music's playing or like, especially it usually happens is like whoever's here at first of the day, they like kind of set the music and people don't really mess with it. So since I'm here first, no one else is here yet, I'm gonna pick what music I want us to listen to. We have a um, Spotify app like on our square. We have an iPad for a cashier thing. I'll show it to you. Looks like that. So 
it's kind of fun because every year uh, second one gets its own like Spotify wrapped in last year I'm pretty sure the most listened to song was motion sickness so I sent out like a mental health check-in on everyone and like the kids were not all right apparently but that's okay so now that we know that the espresso tastes right and everything's set up and we're ready to go, we just kind of wait for people to get here. The next volunteer should be here in like five minutes. Um, so I'll actually head to class and let them take over. But thanks for opening with me guys. This is a uh, second one is located at 564 Buchanan Ave. It's right across the street from Sideline. Like, oh, it's too bright, but right across the street. So you can come hang out. We're closed on Saturdays, but you can come volunteer here too. It's a really fun place. Everyone gets to know each other. We have live music all the time and like poetry nights and like it's just a super fun like college space to come hang out at. So I might actually include some snippets and some photos and videos of like live music or poetry or things of people hanging out just so you guys can kind of see what we're about. So come hang out. My name's Lauren. I'm here like all the time.